Hey everybody, it's April 1st. You know what that means? We're going to the Lego store. We're gonna check out what they have for sale today. Um, it's not a bunch of sets, but it's definitely gonna be something fun. And stick around to the end of the episode and you can see exactly which one I'm gonna buy. I'm so excited. There is a lot of little ones, but also, of course, we've got two pretty big ones and I can't wait to show it to you. So let's head into our local mall and our local Lego store and check it out. And you know what's really cool? It's raining and my mall actually opens up before the Lego store. So we'll see what the line looks like. Honestly, I don't expect it to be too long today, but we're gonna find out. Now we've only got five minutes before it opens, so we better hurry. All right, we're coming around the bend. Do we have a line today? And it looks like there's a couple of people. They're opening the doors. 20 seconds on the clock and then they're gonna let us in or they just might let us in a little bit early. <laughs> oh, they've got it. Let's see how many they've got. There it is. Dungeons and Dragons. Big set. So, let's see. I mean, they've got the Bard, which is pretty cool. They've got the owl bear. I actually got to see the set built, and it's out front, which we'll take a quick peek as we head out, because I wanted to get in before the line got too long. And, of course, we've got the dragon. Let's see the back. The box is nice. I mean, it's idea number 56. Oh. Then we've got the detailed of the rock work and a wizard and there's always the secret little compartments there's one over there i remember um seen some of the other youtube videos of the ambassadors doing their stuff the dragon's really cool a little disappointed it's not green but i mean red dragon what are you gonna do got the egg it's probably protecting uh gather support then different languages I'm guessing spanish it would be interesting if it was dutch and we've got the minifigures on top here I love the little, the creature. I don't remember what that's called. Not D&D, &D, but this is cool. I learned about that. It's gelatin that just dissolves stuff, which is, I think that's awesome. Then they've got the cool new door that you can put a little window piece in, so you can put glass in there too if you want. And yeah, they've got two on the shelf here now, but they have boxes and boxes and ready for everybody who's buying it. See, look at all those boxes. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And we're in the Technic section now. And so we've got this one I talked about on the podcast as a review, the McLaren Formula E team, which means, well, it's all electric, which I think is pretty cool. And then this is their new one, the Lamborghini Huracan Technica Orange. Um, it does have its engine in the back here. I don't know if it actually is a fully working engine, but they've got the uh, Lamborghini logo. Now that's the old logo because they just did a new one, which is just literally the outline of it. I don't know why they had to change it, but you know, that's what they do. You got to keep rebranding. And they've got the engine there, as you can see, it's got the block on it. Let's do a little clarity there. There's the V10 engine. I don't know if it's a hybrid or not, but I mean, that's pretty cool. The wheels are really nice. More logo, all of it's gonna be stickers though. And at a price tag of $50, I don't think that's too bad. Um, orange is ostentatious, just as uh, Lamborghini is always like that. Then they've got the other space sets as well. Let's see if they have anything new down here. The combine's pretty cool. They don't do farm stuff all that often, except well now with John Deere, they're doing it all over the place. Now, as we move into the city sets, here's the newest of the city, the space, I think it's the space lab. Let me see. Is it the space lab? Yeah, this is the space lab that's brand new. Um, it's got the full new pieces up here that make the canopy style. Then you've got the reactor section. And they've got a kid in the wheelchair uh, looking for a crystal and the little alien guy. But what I think is really cool is that when it opens up, like there's so many cool details in here. You've got the really cool flowers. They've got the little frogs. So, I mean, I guess this is not really grown on earth. <laughs> they got to grow it somewhere else. Uh, this guy has a rocket 
uh, wheelchair, which is so cool. And then, of course, you can add it onto set 60434. I mean, and then they've got the little clamps, the airlocks, so you can go in between each other. I mean, that's pretty cool. The city sets are always something that a lot of people are interested in, and with the new space theme, well, why not? It just makes perfect sense. Here's the latest of the Friends space sets. And, I mean, look at those. Those creatures are awesome. I guess these guys pop out of these flower things and kind of float around. They're like sea anemones, maybe, or like little jellyfish. Got the Friends set going, flying on a little saucer piece. And then it's a rover. And I mean, look at how cool those wheels are. There even is this little, looks like a little spark piece, maybe? Or is that something else? And you got a little robot helper here. And you got Olivia and William. Olivia is my niece's name. So maybe when she's eight years old, she'll get a set like this. The set has some really cool, oh, it's just features to make it look interesting here. But they've got little beds in the back. They've got their kitchen set. Oh, look, they even have some detail. Oh, focus. Detail sections there. Uh, I, I mean, that's really cool. They've got the little dog in his space outfit. And of course, it's got the little air supply, or excuse me, what are they called? airlock so that they can connect it and then you can release it from there have a little station elsewhere but that's that is really cool let's see what else they've got the little space i think that's olivia again in her full space suit and being orange um, purple is kind of a new car orange does come up as an astronaut suit that was from the uh, early uh, space shuttle era but honestly very cool i love the coloring the, the purple clear uh, shells and look that's even one of the cockpits from the uh, one of the Speed Champion series. Oh, so cool. Friends is just doing an amazing thing. And I mean, look at this. It's just everywhere. They've got the space one up there that you can connect it to. And I bet you can connect it to the other airlocks of this city series. Here's our sale section. Um, last chance to buy. I, uh, yeah. Honestly, none of them. Uh, the Super Mario is not a terrible one. Sale sections are hit and miss. This store doesn't have the best of those, but you know, if you go to the other one, there's another one only 20 minutes away from here, so you can get some amazing sale section sets. Oh, super exciting. Let's move on to Marvel. We've got three of the Marvel ones. We've got the Iron Spider-Man. So they've done Spider-Man already before, but this is a new one. They did Miles Morales too, but this one has the iron legs, and they did the same thing for the Brickheads this year with the Iron Spider-Man. I mean, it's probably the same figure, same build, just a little bit more gold, new um, printing, and of course, the golden arms to it. The other buildable one I know that they did was the Green Goblin. The Green Goblin is awesome. I mean, that faceplate is great. He's got his uh, disintegrating bombs and stuff on there. I, I think there's just the disintegrating ones. There are some explosion ones, of course. And then his glider. The glider looks really good, and especially, I think, scale-wise, it does great. I don't know if it hinges like the real glider, but I mean, like... Look at those, those are uh, goblin blades. Uh, and here's a more action-packed version of it. Uh, ooh, you can even put his goblin bombs on there and fly him around. I wish they came with like a base that you could put him on so it looks like he's flying, but somebody will build that. You can probably go on Rebrickable and they'll build some of that. I'm watching X-Men 97 right now and that's uh, becoming enticing now. I, I haven't actually seen it in the show yet, I don't think. Maybe once, I think they were going in the first episode to it. But we've got Rogue, uh, Wolverine, although he should have shorter legs because he is shorter, and then Magneto, and there's Cyclops. Here's the second biggest one of the day. This is Gotham City Skyline. This is from the Gotham Animated Series Skyline. And some of the pieces are really cool. I love the detailing that they've done on some of these different art pieces. Um, they have uh, the gargoyles or the minifigures up there. Oh, what else? Oh, we've got Batman way up here. Little guy. The museum, the fair, Joker's amusement area. You know, that's so that's Joker, his little area. We also have Poison Ivy and hers. Arkham. Um, what else? Oh, we've got the Batwing. Uh, da, 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 Diamond Police Gotham Opera coming soon. Not really sure. At uh, the City Hall, remember that one? That's from the 1980 Batman. Batman. Uh, and then we've got his mansion over here, as well as the uh, night sky. Let's see on the back. Whoa. 
we've got our four minifigures, some really fun ones. We've got, of course, Joker. We've got Harley Quinn in her classic costume, Batman and Catwoman. Um, and as you can see, there's different things. There's the Batmobile. Um, that is the cool animated series one. Um, you can remove these two sections and you can see there is the lovely drop down from Batman's mansion down into the Bat Cave. Oh, super cool. It's, it's a little expensive though, at $300. Um, and I think a lot of people didn't expect this, but I like the design that they did for it. The red uh, sky. I never watched the Batman anime series. It is on my list. I was going back to the X-Men because I just talked about that. So we'll have to see what the sale looks like for this compared to everything else. There's the other one, Batman 1989. I have the limited edition version instead of this one. So uh, just watch for my videos and you'll see a little bit different. I think more, this is more detail. I mean, because it just came out completely different. There's one of the gifts of purchase that they've done. This is the, um, what is it called? Retro food truck, but you have to buy one of the modulars. As you can see, there's the three ones that are available. And I love the color, that bluish color to it, the light blue. Um, so that's still a little expensive to get one of those just to get this piece, but you can probably find it in the second hand market. And then our last thing is they came out with some new keychains. Now they had sleeping, uh, yeah, Snow White, but I don't see Snow White here. I don't think they got it in store yet. I think that's what one of the employees was saying, but they do have Maribel, uh, which they're leaning into hard because they've got a couple of the new sets for the Encanto, which is a great movie if you haven't seen it, totally would do that. Um, then they've got all the other classic ones as well. I should get more of these because they'd be great for the Christmas tree. I usually use luggage tags, but hey, these are actual minifigures, so maybe I'll get some. And here's the front view of Gotham City as built. And it's actually not that deep. It's really, I like that. I think that having it just kind of be more flush with the wall, you get more detail. I just love the mini sets and the city builds are really good, especially like the tower there that has the grill pieces to do that. They've got the windows with the grate there to have more of a, no, there's my finger, different style to it. The stickers, well, there's gonna be a lot of stickers. There's just too many different things. Printed would just take so much money. And we've got some, I like the blimps way back there. Those are new pieces, I think. Oh no, they just use a toothpiece with a one by one tile rounded. I love that. And then if you look, there's the bat symbol and the bat symbol's projected up there. But what I don't get is that is a one by one with no bat logo on it. I feel like they've done it before, so they probably should have done that. And the bat wing, honestly, I think they could have used one of the angle pieces and had it look like it's flying in instead of just like flat. Some Somebody I would recommend you definitely add that. And then the front of the Dungeons and Dragons set. We do give that gift for purchase down there. It, the only exclusive things are the four eyes, which when they produce something, they're probably gonna come out with something else. but. The detailing is really cool, the dragon is cool, but it's pretty big. I mean, the wingspan itself is really big, so I don't know where you're gonna put it. But I say that about every Lego set. But the biggest hint I love about the set is right there. What does that look like? What does that look like, Lord of the Rings fans? So expect something like that. Hopefully on like a transparent one though, or a uh, trans red would be really cool comes time to what am I gonna pick? There's so many good sets. I definitely need to buy one before I head out of here, but oh, I can't choose. All right, we're headed out with a purchase. April Fools, I don't have any money. There's no way I was gonna buy anything, but there's some really good sets. And I totally think that some people that are huge D&D fans should totally get that one set. Gotham Animated Series, those are fun. And the Friends Series, the, the Space Series is just great. So honestly, go out and get those. It is a, an expensive day always on release day. So make sure you save your money, especially for next month. May the 4th. Oh, I'm going to be really busy buying a lot of those ones for sure. Also, another big April Fool's. I don't sound like this. This is just too much of an influencer voice. I will do this on occasion when I'm actually excited all the time, but I'm not excited all the time. It seems to be such a thing with influencers that they always have to be happy. 
not always happy. April is always a slow month for LEGO. There's some good sets, but really excited for May. Can't wait to see Star Wars. A lot of other builds that I'm doing that are gonna focus around Star Wars too, so look out for those. And I did do one on Dune recently, so I'm excited to show that one once it's actually built so I can show the mechanical version of it. All right, everyone, enjoy your April Fools and April 1st release day. Arr!